Hey everybody, welcome back for another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 video. Uh, today we're going to do another flight on the Pilot Edge network uh, and we're going to be doing the CAT 10 rating. So uh, the CAT 10 rating I have up here is a uh, Class B transition. So we're going to be flying in the uh, Los Angeles Class Bravo airspace, talking air traffic control on the way through. So. I planned our flight here on Sky Vector. It has us taking off from Camarillo. Uh, we're going to be talking uh, through the class Delta on the way out. Uh, no in route airspace. Uh, we're going to be using this VFR reporting point here uh, on our way into the Bravo. We're going to have to have our clearance prior to entering the Bravo. Uh, at this shelf here, is if we're up above 5,000 feet, we're going to be in the Bravo, so we need to be cognizant of that. Uh, we're going to have the VOR 323 degree radial tuned in uh, using the Los Angeles VOR here, 113.6. Uh, and then once we hit the VOR, we're going to do a slight left turn onto the uh, 123 degree radial out. at which point uh, it says when you hit the Win Vincent Thomas Bridge you're clear of the Bravo and I'll just bounce that off of the coastal route here which says uh, 323 into the VOR 123 out and once you hit the Vincent Thomas Bridge you're clear of the uh, Bravo by that point or you're below the shelf at least uh, and then you can request to proceed on your own navigation uh, so at that point, it'll be a left turn towards uh, John Wayne, and we'll see if we can just keep the flight following on the way there. So that way we uh, don't have to reestablish contact with Los Angeles approach, or so I'm sorry, SoCal approach on the way into John Wayne anyways. So uh, that's the briefing there. Looks like there's a no-fly zone. This is probably Disney World. Disneyland, yeah. Uh, so that won't be a factor for today's flight. And I think that just about covers the brief. So we've already filed our flight plan. Uh, we'll connect to the Pilot Edge Network here. 935 Whiskey Tango. We are a Kit Fox today. And let's connect. So I've been flying the Kit Fox because uh, it's got a Rotax engine. Uh, specifically, this one's got the 915, so it's turbocharged. But in, in real life, I'm flying a RV-12 with a... Uh, with a uh, Rotax 912 ULS. So it's uh, close enough that uh, it allows me to kind of stay familiar with the engine by flying it in the flight simulator. And uh, yeah, that's why we're choosing this aircraft. This, uh, this is kind of an upgraded version with the 915, so it's a little bit quicker than what I'd be doing for speeds in the real world, but uh, that just means we get to get from point A to point B a little bit quicker in the simulator. Uh, all right, so let me make sure that you guys are looking at my map here. You are. So on uh, my Aver app, I'm going to scroll over to the I.O. page, and I'm going to start listening. You see our uh, GPS location coming through now. I'll scroll back over to the map page, and now it has us on the ground here at Camarillo. And uh, I think we'll use the TAC page for the, uh, the the TAC map here for this flight. Okay. Uh, some other things that... Uh, some other changes to the simulator that I worked through last uh, flight is uh, head tracking. So during this flight... I'll be able to enable and disable head tracking to help us maintain some situational awareness. I've been playing with the curves still, so uh, try to uh, be patient with me and, and the curves. I don't know if I have them quite tuned in yet, but we'll, we'll do some testing today. Okay, let's uh, get started up in the aircraft here. So uh, I got my checklist here. We'll say we're up to the uh, pre-start checklist. So exterior pre-flight is complete. Passenger briefs complete. Fuses are all installed and in. Seatbelts are on. Fuel valve. So we can 
take our fuel valve on. Uh, master ignition and strobes. Got our beacon coming on. And strobes on. Ambient temperature uh, is below minus 13 and 120. Fuel pressure check normal. I guess you're going to need a screen in order to see our fuel pressure. I should pop out my panels while we're here. All right, what was I looking at there? Fuel pressure, normal. Do we have fuel pressure on this? It doesn't look like we do, so I'm gonna call it normal. Uh, throttle, we're gonna call this a cold start, so it's closed. Choke, uh, I don't know if we have a choke in this aircraft. Probably not, because it's the 915 IS in the simulator, which means fuel injected, so no choke. Uh, canopy, we'll make sure that the canopy is closed. Uh, clear prop, holding the brakes, make sure that parking brake is set. And it's set. Uh, starter engage, coming on. Oops, I gotta turn the lanes on another 915 IS thing so it's not on the checklist and I think I also need to take this guy to start now it should work all right I'll start it up all right we're looking at our oil PSI we have oil pressure oil temperatures in the green Temperatures look good, and RPM will get it outside of that yellow range. I think it's above 1800. Uh, it says it wants the RPM above 2000. All right, so we are in the green for RPM, and we don't have our temperature arc, so our engine is already nice and warm. All right, choke off, not installed. Avionics switch on, it is. ATIS, we'll get the ATIS. Camarillo here, ATIS is 126025 in there, but I'm not hearing it. I want to make sure I'm connected to the network. We are. 126025. Why am I not? Oh. General options. We'll make sure that the sound in the simulator is down. Oh, I still have it in standby, that's why. 126.025, and we'll transfer that. 8 .10, altimeter 10 iron or 9 or 7. Arriving and departing runway 26. RNAV runway 26 approach in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact that you have information echo. Camarillo Airport, ATIS information echo. 2355 Zulu. Wind 230 at 7. Visibility minor. Sky condition, clear. Temperature 17. Dew point one zero, altimeter two nine or nine or seven, arriving and departing runway two six. R nav runway two six approach in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. 
Advise on initial contact that you have information. Echo. Camarillo Airport. A. All right, we got tower in there now. Uh, let's see. Do they have a ground? Ground is 121.8. And we already have 128.2 in there. Bobby Tower, Warrior 842 Tango Uniform. I'm about nine miles uh, to your west. Inbound 121.8. With information Zulu. All right, we got that in there. Let's keep moving along with the checklist. Uh, south side parking signature for one three zero truck. Radio frequencies are set. Nav landing lights, taxi lights. Echo. Guess the taxi light doesn't want to work. What else can we turn on here? Big wags. Delta Juliet, Juliet two Foxtrot two Foxtrot. Okay, what else we have? All right, Delta Juliet, Juliet GPS and charts Foxtrot 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 are Foxtrot all set to go. I'm going to use uh, monitor at uh, Foxtrot 2 and uh, monitor ground. One, two, three, Foxtrot. We're going to use Avair for navigation anyway, so uh, I'm not going to bother tuning up. The, the GPS uh, information, information in here. However, the I am going to go to menu uh, and tune in on nav uh, frequency. Right for so we know we're going to be doing the VOR, and the Los Angeles VOR is 113.6. Put that in there. Let's see. The question is, did we see the needle move at all? VOR. Oh, uh, let's see. Am I doing this thing right? Whoa, what happened there? I don't know what that was. F2 frequency. What do I have in there? 108.2. I don't know what that is. Let's put that on Camarillo 115.8. Just, just to see it working. And now let's see what direction that is. That's directly west of us. Okay, I believe that. Now let's go... Go now. One. Bobby Tower Warrior, two Tango uniform, reporting right downwind midfield for two six. And Los Angeles is one thirteen six. Runway two six clear to land. Runway two six clear to land. So that's in there. Okay, so we're probably too far away for that to work yet. So I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to say enter, and then we're just going to verify that. These two bearing pointers are off, and we're going to use VOR1 for our source. Okay. And 
and I don't know how to go go back to the map. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, the GPS is all good to go. So run up. Controls free and correct. Trying to see if my uh, if I can see the controls moving. Kind of tough to see there. What if I go to? Oh, you know what? There they are. Light controls are good. Look down at our pedals. Pedals are good. All right, controls are checked. Flight instruments check and set. So our airspeed indicator reads zero. Our altitude, we should do our altimeter, two nine or nine or seven. Right, uh, pitch level. Well, we got a tail dragger, so we're about 11 degrees pitch high, Bobby which makes Collins sense. Collins Wings are level, and we're facing the east, which matches uh, where what we're doing in real life. So uh, that looks good. Uh, instruments are set, and then uh, so RPM is above the avoid range. Manifold pressure looks good. Fuel pre fuel flow looks good for uh, idle here. Pressure temperatures are in the green, and we have volts at 14, so our uh, alter uh, alternator is working. So moving forward, uh, fuel selector uh, we don't have, and if we want to, we can double check our tanks. So we got just below three quarters fuel there, and about half over there. So maybe. We'll add a little fuel. That looks better. All right, fuel quantity is good. Elevator trim. We can make sure we're trimmed for takeoff. We are flaps. We're going to take off with one notch of flaps. Can it be latched? It is. Ignition check. So we'll uh, check all around us. We don't have anybody around us. So we're just going to do our run up here on the ramp. So we're on the brakes. Power is coming up to 4,000 RPM. All right, there's 4,000. We're going to do our lane check. Lane A. RPM drops by about 60 there. Lane A is coming back on. It comes back up. Lane B, we drop by about 60. Coming back up. Uh, we still have 14 volts. And we'll do our idle check. Uh, instruments temperatures are in the green. Uh, oil temperature looks a little high, but we'll call that a simulatorism. Idle check. Engine doesn't die at idle. Back up to 2,000. And we'll call that a good check. So we did RPM. We did A and B. We checked the instruments. Instruments, they were good. RPM to idle. Now transponder on. And we'll go alt mode. And we should make sure that that put us in mode C. It did. A and R headsets on. We'll make uh, we'll make sure our net noise canceling it off is on. It is, and we can call ground. And just double checking that ground is one twenty one eight, and we're up one twenty one eight. So we're expecting to get Golf one or Golf to Alpha for two six. Uh, this is uh, Cessna 172 slant golf. Request flight following to Whiskey Juliet Foxtrot 
At 5,500, with information, Mike. Bernard 212 X-ray Burbank clearance. Uh, are you familiar with the Golden State Department? Say again. Say again, Burbank clearance delivered. 9212 X-ray did not hear that. Runner 212 X-ray Burbank clearance. Are you familiar with the Golden State uh, departure? It's like a, a big Negative. Alright, 9212 X-ray, you might want to get a pencil and paper for this. Uh, let me know when you're ready. Copy departure. Had departure instructions. Uh, I guess we'll wait. <laughs> Your intercept Golden State uh, Freeway, I believe that's Interstate 5, uh, and uh, maintain out or below 3,000. Uh, departure frequency 134.2, squawk 2107. Camarilla Ground. Uh, November 935 Whiskey Tango at Golf 2 Taxiway, uh, Taxi VFR to uh, John Wayne with Echo. Taxi 26 via Foxtrot Alpha for 935 Whiskey Tango. Okay. Back to our plate and via Foxtrot Alpha. So we're coming this way. Good evening, St. Louis Brown. Cessna 28 at Quebec is at FBO. Request taxi south departure with uniform. I like the, uh, maybe this, maybe this is the taxiway here and that's what those lights are about. Number 288, Quebec, from the ground, uh, taking your club. I like to request taxi from the FBO. I was going to say I like the taxi uh, lights uh, in the taxiway, uh, but I think that was on me. Number 288, Quebec, thanks for being on runway 200, taxi alpha. All right. I actually, we're going to need to... We're going to need to turn these uh, indicators off because that's going to get real annoying. Make sure that all this stuff is good. Piloting. Piloting. 
Lobby Broad Skyhawk 4 at 7 under golf clear of the runway request taxi to parking. All right, that's better. Center 7 under golf taxi to parking via Charlie and monitor ground. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Pass by Cassidy. Taxi by Charlie. Thank you, 7 under golf. Ground, this is Cessna 9212 X-ray at the Millionaire ramp, ready to taxi with information Mike for departure to the north. Right, windsock looks good. We'll do a quick, quick uh, before takeoff here. Lights, we got all of our lights on. Uh, camera, we're squawking 1200 altitude mode and action. Our fuel, fuel is on. We do have fuel. We checked that already. Uh, we got our flaps set and we're trimmed for takeoff. All right, I think we are good to go. Quick look. Uh, we don't see anybody coming in on final. And I'll make the call. One twenty-eight two is Camarillo. Uh, two six. We are facing two six. All the runway stuff says two six, so we're good to go. Camarillo Tower, uh, experimental nine three five whiskey tango, holding short two six, ready for takeoff, east departure. One, two, eight, two. Control tower, one, two, eight, two, and then according to... three, five, whiskey, tango, uh, runway two, six, clear for takeoff from course approved. Clear for takeoff, runway 26, on course approved, uh, experimental 935, Whiskey Tango. Okay, coming forward. Do uh, one more look on course there. Alright, we're on 2-6. Power's coming in. Good evening, San Luis Ground. That's the 2 way to get back to the firewall. Ready for self departure. Clear your left. Coming left. Uh, course, takeoff. for takeoff, runway two nine or two eighty Clear left, we're coming left. 
2,200. What do we have for altitude restrictions here? You should steer clear of the delta there. Other than that, we'll keep climbing to 55. Keep our engine out of the red. Ground, Cessna 728 Charlie November at Transient Parking. Request taxi for closed traffic with information uniform. This is for Cat 3 ready. So I think my only gripe right now. 728 Charlie November, San Luis Ground. Good evening, sorry, we're just here parked. My gripe right now is the uh, ground, forward facing November camera. Taken. I wish it was uh, sorry, tilted up just a bit. I am at Transient Parking currently and request taxi for closed traffic. Hey, Charlie, remember runway 29 or taxi by Alpha? Runway 29 or taxi by Alpha uh, for H. Charlie November. Maybe that's better. All right, we're going to want to level off at 55. We're Bank Tower. This is Cessna 9212 X-ray holding short runway 8 at Delta. 9212 X-ray for Bank Tower, runway 8, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 8, 9212 X-ray. We'll see if she hands us off. We're already clear her airspace, so I'm assuming she's not going to. Alright, next frequency we're going to need in there, though, is SoCal Approach on 128.75. I'll start getting that in there. Good evening, NRA, right down, we're only 3-0, report midfield. Right down, when uh, report midfield for one way, 3-0, one more hotel. Okay, we are eight miles east of, all right, we'll just tune that in. For 9212 X-ray, radar contact, sail. 9212 X-ray, climb through 1,500. 1-2 X-ray, thank you. Come back to SoCal to perch. Uh, switching frequency to SoCal approach. 9-2-1-2 X-ray. 
SoCal Approach, this is Cessna 9212 X ray, uh, climbing through 2000. Back 9212 X ray, SoCal departure, maintain VFR of the Burbank altimeter 2994. 2994, Cessna 9212 X ray. And you can proceed on course as well. Copy, 9212 X ray. 12875. SoCal Approach Experimental 935, Whiskey Tango, VFR Advisory is on 12875. Station 554, Bravo, Los Angeles, Center, Squawk ID. Number 554 Bravo, radar contact, uh, four miles west of 29 Palms, 29 Palms, altimeter 2990. Station 1342, so I don't know what that is. 1342. It's weird. 1342. Clear for takeoff runway 29 er uh, for left turn. Uh, report midfield down. 1342. So, Cal Approach, Experimental 935, Whiskey Tango, VFR Advisories. Tango, SoCal Approach. SoCal Approach 935 Whiskey Tango is a experimental kit fox. We're currently 15 miles east of Camarillo, uh, like a VFR transition through the L Los Angeles Bravo on the coastal route. 935 Whiskey Tango, Squawk 6724 Ident. 5 Whiskey Tango, radar contact, 15 miles southwest of Van Nuys, Van Nuys, Altona, 2993. Remain outside the class Bravo airspace until advised, and report one established on the coast route southeastbound at 5,500. Uh, we'll report established on the coastal route at 5,500, uh, 2993 on the altimeter, and uh, just to confirm, this is the class, uh, the CAT-10. Affirmative. 127 Tango, Julia Cock, Palomar Tower, 118.6. Over to tower for one two seven three, Julia. Seven three four uniform Zulu radar service is terminated. Squawk and maintain VFR. Frequency change is approved. Uh, frequency change approved. Squawk VFR. Radar service is terminated. Uh, for uniform Zulu. All right, it's the three twenty three. So we'll start putting that in. 310, 320, 323. Although the reciprocal of that, because we're going to be heading into it, is going to be 103. So let's do that instead. There's 100. 105, 103. So this says we are to the right, of course. That does make sense based on what we see on the map. And this has us making a slight right turn on course. And that does pass the, the sniff check.
So it was a little bit tough to hear everything he said to me. I think I got the important stuff. Uh, I did not hear a specific cleared into the Bravo. So we'll report when we're established and we're assuming on that report he will give us the cleared into the Bravo call. In the meantime, we're looking for the 323 to come in on the VOR. Three twenty-three is one hundred three. Advise ready to copy. Station five four uh, five five four Bravo cleared to San Diego Limburg Airport via direct Trixie Tango Romeo India X-ray India and the Lucky One arrival. Just wondering why uh, one o three just doesn't seem southbound enough. If we turn to one o three now, what does that look like? It's definitely not enough. What am I doing wrong here? Well, my tail is definitely not on 323. If I put the tail on 323, was I just doing bad math? 323. Yeah, I was. We need to be on the 143. And now we're on the one. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was doing the quick, uh, you know, from 323, you subtract two, add two uh, to the first digit and second second digit. So. 323, 3 minus 2 would be 1. The second digit is the 2. I was subtracting 2 when I should have been adding 2. So it's subtract 2, add 2. I was subtracting 2, subtracting 2, and that's why I was getting 103. That's why it didn't look right. All right, so we are established on the radial. So we're going to turn eastbound. Station 554 Bravo, Connick, Los Angeles Center, 128.6. So Cal Approach, Experimental 935, Whiskey Tango, established on the 323 radial. M35, Whiskey Tango, clear in Los Angeles, Class Bravo Airspace via the Colstra, maintain VFR at 5,500, one side of the Class Bravo Airspace. Cleared into the Class Bravo, we'll maintain 5,500, Experimental 935, Whiskey Tango. Make sure we're staying on that radial. With the winds right now, it's telling me my track is a little off. We'll hold that. Station 554 Bravo, Los Angeles Center. The San Diego Lindbergh Altimeter 3001 descend via the Lucky One arrival. I think he last told me two nine or nine or three. Or nine three five whiskey tango contact SoCal approach one three four point nine. One three four point nine or nine three five whiskey tango.
So got a departure Delta 3887 out of, of 1,100 for 5,000. Delta 3887, SoCal departure, radar contact, climb maintain 13,000. All right, climb maintain 13,000, Delta 3887. SoCal approach, experimental 935, Whiskey Tango, coastal rot 5,500. 935, Whiskey Tango, SoCal approach, Los Angeles altimeter 2997. 29 or 9 or 7, 935, Whiskey Tango. Got to lose 100 feet here. Still on course, looking good. We got LAX off the nose. We're looking good. So only one time in my life have I ever th flown through A-Class Bravo, and that was uh, VFR flight following with Boston. That was on a trip from Burlington, Vermont, down to, uh, I think we were meeting our families in Mansfield, Massachusetts. I was flying with my fiance in the uh, Club RV-12. So we uh, just barely clipped the Class Bravo But uh, we were cleared to do it. Other than that, I have never flown in Class Bravo. So this uh, Pilot Edge experience is great experience for the real world. For the next time that I'm flying in Boston's uh, airspace. See if we can get back centered on our course here. So once we are station passage over the VOR, it'll be a slight left outbound on the one, two, three. How are we looking on that coast? That's very cool. Coastal route, very cool. Delta thirty eight eighty seven, kind of Los Angeles Center, one three five point five. Three five point five Delta thirty eight eighty seven. Scott ninety one two X ray radar services terminated. Squawk maintained VFR. Fixed changes approved. Oh, we never took our flaps up. One two X ray I'm on VFR, squawking one two zero zero. Thank you for your help. So I'm going to say, even though they'll pass us on the Cat Ten, even if they do pass us, that's still a real world flight failure. Because if we were in the real airplane, we would have ripped our flaps off. <laughs> or at a mi at a minimum, we would have overstressed them. Not what we want to do. Delta 3887, Los Angeles Center, climbing team for level 230. Station passage over the outer marker. Station 554 Bravo, connect SoCal approach, 124.35. We see the VOR going full scale deflection. We're going to hold what we got because we are in the cone of confusion over the top of it. While it's doing that, I'm going to tune in 123. And we'll wait for it to come back in. So, Cal Approach, citation November 554 Bravo. Maybe the lucky one arrival. We got information Delta. Station 554 five, Bravo, SoCal approach, San Diego Limerick, altimeter 3001. Thanks for Delta. Are you uh, set up for the uh, RNAV to 27 or the uh, localizer? We're set up for the localizer uh, via Lindy, citation 54 Bravo. Station 54 Bravo, after Lindy, a cleared localizer, runway 27 approach. All right, coming back in. After intercept. The localizer two seven approach. Citation five four Bravo.
All right, we're looking good. We're established on the 123, 5,500. All trimmed out. Let's see if we can pick the speed back up. Delta 38.87, Conoch, Los Angeles Center, 133.2. A little bit surprised I haven't seen any other aircraft. <laughs> Especially over LAX. Delta climbing through 2100 for 3000. Delta 3887, Los Angeles Center, climbing team for level 320. Who else called? SoCal number 442, Delta is climbing through 2800 for 3000. 442, Delta, SoCal departure, radar contact, climbing team 6000. Climbing team 6000. Getting a little high. Looks like we're heading straight for that cruise ship ahead of us. That cruise ship is our uh, Bijan Sunken Boats app, or uh, not app, what do we call them, add-on? Assuming that's the case. We'll have to see if the other marinas are populated up there. Maybe once we resume our own navigation, we'll come down to 3,500. Not seeing any airplanes. That was Zamperini Field at the right. So we didn't do a climb out checklist. We'll make sure we're doing a before landing checklist. Cruise checklist, fuel pump off. We're going to pretend it's tied to our uh, master switch like it is in the RV-12. Flaps check up. There's There it is. RPM 5500 max. We're below that. And pulse landing light as required. We got our wigwags on. Although I guess we could have turned off the landing light.
All right, so we're crossing out of the Bravo here. So. One two eight point one for nine three five whiskey tango. Two eight point one. I think we're good to start our turn on course. Still got a Marcher Skyhawk 2384 Lima out of 3600 for 8000. 2384 Lima, SoCal departure radar contact. <clears throat> 128.1. SoCal approach, experimental 935 Whiskey Tango, uh, 5,500 uh, just south of the Vincent Thomas Bridge, uh, inbound for uh, John Wayne. Walker 1814, Los Angeles Center, radar contact to altitude. Thank you. 935 Whiskey Tango, SoCal approach, the John Wayne altimeter 2997, your exit in the Bravo airspace, resume navigation and uh, maintain appropriate VFR altitudes. Procedure at the Huntington Beach Pier. Uh, we'll proceed via the Huntington Pier, uh, altitude and nav at our discretion, uh, 935 Whiskey Tango. Huntington Beach Pier. 4554 five, four, Bravo, connect Limburg Tower, 118.3. Limburg Tower, 118.3, nine citation, 54 Bravo. So I'm trying to see if we see any boats. We might be too high. Walker Alright, there's a thousand feet. We'll take the scenic route. Although we want to make sure we're not busting airspace. But we want to see some boats. Not seeing boats. Happy 5 Whiskey Tango, traffic 12 o'clock, 3 miles, northwest bound along the shoreline, VFR indicating 1,200, type unknown. 
Uh, we'll be searching for traffic. 935, we'll see Tango. Three o'clock. Walker 1814, Contact Los Angeles Center, 124.62. Walker 1814, Los Angeles Center, climb maintained by level 280. So we're already up with approach, so we're good to enter the Charlie. We should probably get ADIS. Back 2384 Lima Quidrick, 29 Palms VOR. Uh, I can give you 7,000 if you'd like that as a final as well. <laughs> okay, Derek, 29 Palms, and yeah, we'll take 7,000 for 2384 Lima. Scott, okay, 4 Lima, maintain 7,000. Maintain 7,000, 84 Lima. SoCal Approach, Experimental 935, Whiskey Tango, over Huntington Beach. Can I off tune to grab the ATIS at uh, John Wayne? Uh, five Whiskey Tango. Uh, yeah, just proceed direct the field and connect John Wayne Tower 126.8 when you come back. Direct the field, we'll switch the tower 1268 after getting the ATIS, thanks. 1268. And one two six zero. John Wayne Airport. Aegis information X ray. Zero zero five three Zulu. Wind two four zero at five. Visibility one zero. Few clouds at two thousand seven hundred. Ceiling two zero thousand broken. Temperature one eight. Dew point one one. Altimeter two nine or nine or seven. Arriving and departing runway zero left. Two zero right. Visual approach is in use. VFR departures contact clearance livery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignment hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information x-ray. John Wayne Airport, aid to information x-ray. Zero, zero. One, two, six, eight. John Wayne Tower, Experimental 935, Whiskey Tango, uh, 3,500, landing full stop. 935, Whiskey Tango, John Wayne Tower, good evening, enter right down, on our way two zero right. You are clear to land, wind 240 at 5. Right down, wind for two zero right, uh, clear to land, 935, Whiskey Tango. Right down, wind, so two zero. Right means we're coming in that way. So if we hold just about this heading, we're set up for a right downwind. So power's coming back in, and we'll start our descent. And we're going to want to get ground ready to go. Ground. 
Two zero right. We're going to be on the right side. That's the west side. We got a lot of altitude blues. I think I'm going to bring the flaps in now to start losing this altitude. And I think we're going to worry about the ground frequency when we're on the ground. And let's a little slip. That'll get us out of the sky pretty quick. Coming right, clear right. Bring the flops back up. Nice tight turn. Flaps are coming back down. That's two zero right for sure. Runway looks clear. All right, flaps are down. Speed is 60. Short final, we're looking good here. Alright, ground is one two zero uh one let's we'll see what they tell us to do. Set the brake there. And contact ground, ground control on the west side is 13225. really put the pause button not next to the camera button ATIS information Edray 0053 Zulu
One three two two five. Ground experimental nine three five whiskey tango on one three two two five. We're on Juliet off of two zero right. Uh, like to taxi for refuel. Five whiskey tango ramp via Bravo and a pass for the cat ten. Ramp via Bravo and a pass for the cat ten. Thanks for the help. All right, nice. Coming forward, off the parking brake. Well, that's pretty sweet. I won't lie. Uh, when's the last time we did the Cat Nine? I wouldn't be surprised if it was six months ago. <laughs> and I won't say it's been six months because uh, I've been too intimidated to do the uh, Class Bravo stuff, but. Uh, it certainly has a little bit to do with it. It's not completely it, of course. Life just gets busy, but uh, all right. Let's see if we can find. Number two, no ground. November one, two, two. All top. Parking at uh, Glen Mendez and uh, one. East Looking for refuel. But yeah, for sure. Uh, I have been a little bit intimidated by the Class Bravo stuff, just because, like I said, it's not something I fly often in real life. Uh, but uh, yeah, not bad at all. I, all I did uh, was watch the uh, YouTube video to prepare for it, the one by Pilot Edge, and uh, yeah, it really wasn't bad at all. Four five nine Sierra Yankee San Bernardino ground runway two four taxi by Alpha. I am not seeing the refueling station anywhere. Could it be all the way down here? Oh. There it goes, and that's how we end it. <laughs> well, that was a good shutdown. We'll control E that one and pretend it didn't happen. I'm not used to this tail dragger stuff, clearly. Okay, why aren't we moving now? I wonder if I have damage on. Oh. The parking brake sets itself automatically. Alright, I think we're just going to shut down here so I can stop making a fool of myself. <laughs> More brakes. Parking brake. We'll hop back in the aircraft. And shut. So... After landing, we never did that, huh? Actually, this checklist doesn't have an after landing. Shut down. All right, so we're going to clean up the flaps. We're going to set the trim for takeoff for the next person. Uh, we will take our lights off. We'll leave the beacon on. And we'll take the... So the throttle su supposed to be above 2,000 still outside of the avoid range. So for the shutdown, we take the throttle to idle as we turn the lanes off. There's the shutdown, and then master's coming off. Continue. All right, and I think that's everything. We'll uh, put that back to off. All right, well, good flight. Uh, Pass for the Cat 10. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, we'll see you on the next one for the Cat 11. That'll be the last of the Cat ratings, and we can call that uh, mission success. So we'll uh, see you on the next one. Bye.